There was a time where certain skins ruled the Fortnite world. Eventually, these skins all died out and a new wave of skins was upon us. Today, we're gonna look at a couple of forgotten skins in Fortnite. As always, if you guys do enjoy these cosmetic videos where we go ahead and look at my locker and talk about stuff, make sure you go ahead and leave me a like down below. Can we get around, around 2,000 likes on this video? That'd be amazing. But yeah, let me know down below right now what skins you think people have forgotten about because I know a whole bunch of different skins that are gonna be in this video. People used to love them so much and now you rarely see them. So yeah, go ahead, let me know your picks and without further ado, so you guys remember when the uh, Brilliant Striker uh, came out and it was the first skin to ever be animated. And it was all the rave. Um, that was short lived not. because nobody really uses these skins ever. I don't really see too many people using those like these type of skins anymore. I think it came with a girl version and a boy version. And I really do like this skin. I'm going to start using it a lot more now because I forgot I even really had it. But it's the first skin to ever be animated, and it was super, super raved about. Everyone really, really wanted it. Everyone really liked it because it was animated, and then a week later, nobody ever used it. So you rarely see anyone using this skin. Pretty surprising because it is a pretty awesome skin. I like to run no back bling on it just so you can see the back animated too. So yeah, that is a definite forgotten skin. Very, very popular when it first came out just because it was animated. And uh, the colors on this are very awesome too, so that was a main uh, benefit of that. But yeah, super, super short-lived um, time frame that people really did like it, and now nobody really likes it. That's probably one of the most um, forgotten skins I can think of, because I can just like straight up remember when people were in love with the skin. Right when it came out, people were like, oh my god, coolest skin ever. It's animated, you can see stuff, but nobody uses it now. So yeah. So you guys remember back in the day during like the Christmas time and the uh, the November era of Fortnite, this was the tryhard skin. The tryhard skin was the Bright Bomber. Everyone, if they were, if you saw a Bright Bomber, you had to run away because you knew you were gonna get into a little build battle. Even back in December, when build battles weren't very good, you were either gonna get double pumped by them or you were gonna get boxed. Like literally. This was the tryhard skin. Everyone rocked this skin. And now, you don't really see too many people using it. I think the main reason that a lot of people were using it back then is because Dakotas and Avery and every big streamer back then at the time was using the skin just because it was super cool back then. Everyone thought it was cool back then. And, I mean, it's still cool to this day. A lot of people do like it to this day. But with all the new skins coming out, um, not a lot of people do go back on this. And a lot of people have forgotten about this. So that is why it is another um, forgotten skin, and it's sad to see because I knew that this skin was all the hype back then and quickly, very quickly, just dropped off. Okay, guys, so you see the skin right now. Do you honestly know what this skin's called? Be real with me. Do you know what this skin is called? You might know the set name or, or whatever, but tell me in the comments right now. Guess what it's called. Pause the video and guess what the name of this is. I can guarantee... More than half of you guys don't know what this is because it seems like all of the new skins that Fortnite is bringing out are slowly just being forgotten about. Like, for example, we have the Criterion, the uh, robot. I think it's very cool. It's a blue and orange robot. Nobody talks about this. Like, same with the Omega Girl, Oblivion. Nobody talks about this at all. Like, most of the new skins that they are bringing out literally aren't being um receptioned very well uh the reception of all these new skins that fortnite are bringing out aren't very well i s did see the leaks and the whiteout and the uh white looking skins are my favorite ones that are coming out soon and um i think that these skins aren't getting the love that they i mean deserve i mean they're skins i mean they're not the best you know in my opinion i don't think the skins that they're bringing out recently are the best but most of the time whenever you see a new skin like the uh the macho girl and the macho of uh, guy or whatever you call him sorry i had to fix myself in my chair this chair is uncomfortable the macho people in that like libre set I, I i've never seen one i've never seen one and they just came out like how can that be possible i play this game a lot you guys know i play a lot of games daily i'm a youtuber i have to play and most of the new skins that they're bringing out literally like not even joking literally are being forgotten day by day like the next day there's a new skin in the shop and everyone forgets about the skin that was in yesterday and then after that they forget about the next skin and it feels like everyone's just going back to their roots they're not wanting to buy any new skins maybe fortnite's trying to theme it differently like 
how this dude's like a diver. Maybe they're trying to theme and people don't like the theme of this. I don't really know. But these new skins, all in all, are just being forgotten super quick. Oh my god, if you saw this dude running at you back in Season 4, you knew you were dead. A fully maxed Omega was the rave of Season 4. And with Season 5 upon us, I haven't seen like one Omega. Maybe like a fully unupgraded one. People just trolling. Maybe a couple carbides. But the fully max Omega, or somewhat max Omega, is never here anymore. Back in Season 4, literally, if you saw that, you were dead. Same with Season 3 with John Wick. If you saw that, you knew they were a good player. And everyone, when they got it, they used it. But, like, pretty much every Battle Pass skin, they are short-lived. Except for the Black Knight, because that was the best max tier Battle Pass skin ever. No cap. Don't go arguing with me in the comments. I think that's the best. And I am I have a very strong opinion on that. The Black Knight is the best max tier skin. Better than John Wick. Better than Omega. Better than Ragnarok. But yeah, besides the point. Omega. Everyone loved this skin so much. A very menacing looking robot. And you got to change the colors and everything. Super cool idea. People were going to be rocking this for ages. Until the new season came out. After that, nobody uses this. It's one of the most forgotten skins, other than like the Brilliant Striker and stuff. This wasn't very short-lived like the other ones. The Brilliant Striker, on the other hand, came out for a week, and then people stopped using this. This Omega was out for a whole season. It was the rave for a good 90 days, and then, ooh, it was out. So that's why I think the Omega is definitely forgotten. That is all for this video, but don't leave now. Make sure you go ahead and comment down below. Like I said in the uh, beginning of the video, make sure you go ahead and comment your forgotten skins and skins that you think people have just simply forgot about in Fortnite. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was a pretty cool video to make. I love making these cosmetic videos. If you guys do love watching these, make sure you go ahead and leave me a like. Comment down below what you like about them and subscribe if you're new. Make sure you have post notifications on so you do not miss another one of these cosmetic videos. But I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.